I threw them away. Well, dropped them, anyway. Upstream. In the river. Why? You know why, or you wouldn't be here. You should have got rid of the lot. That Jack gave them to you. Hmm. And Soroya? I don't know where she is. This is Whitmore. Oh. You're one of the police officers who came here looking for whatever you were looking for. Uh, did you find it? No, but I need to know if someone else did. Did you kill Robert Quinn? Yes. Why? Because he hurt Steph? No. Then why? Because, because he stole her from you? No, no, no. You know, for a while, I was happy for them. For Steph, especially. It's good to see her smile again. And for a while, she and he and Fern all seemed happy. And I got on with my life. So what happened? A couple of years later, remember Fern went off the rails, left home. We thought it was a phase. It wasn't. But about a year ago, Fern called me. And she wanted to catch up. I was so excited. I uh, got there about an hour early. And then I saw it. things. I could have called Steph, I could have called Nichols, I could have waited till I had a chance to speak to Fern. But instead, I decided to ask Quinn himself. I used the payphone up the road, asked him to come for a visit. I kept it light and breezy. Why did you use the payphone? Had you already decided you were going to kill him? been thinking what I'd say, what I'd do. And then I heard him knock, and I said, Come in, Robert. Whoa. And I said, Drink. And he said, I'll hear if it's your good stuff. So, this is where you live. I suppose I'll have to get something like this for me, too. Now that Steph's kicked us both out. The only difference is I bought the battery with my own money. So that's what this is about. Being hauled into the headmaster's office for a talking to about something that's really none of your business. I saw you with Fern today. You're arguing in Water Street. What was that about? A watch of mine has gone missing. And you know what she's like, so... I figured she took it to Hocker to... Bullshit. That guy calling me a liar then. She was terrified of you. That wasn't about any watch. I 
That's what this has been about, isn't it? Her grades falling, her quitting school, her leaving home, her silence. It's because she's terrified of you. You should let this whole idea go. But you won't, will you? No. Not now. What did you do to her? Why didn't you ask what she did to me? Why didn't you ask about the time that she invited me swimming when her mum was out? Or about the time she walked into my office pretending to have trouble putting her necklace on? Or about the time where she accidentally walked in on me when I was showering? I don't believe it. Come on, Dan. She's a smart girl. She's so grown up. She knew what she wanted. No new dare. Blame her. She was a child. You molested her. You abused my little girl. How the fuck was it abuse? She knew what she was doing. She knew. And I knew she didn't want it to stop. When did it end? Turned 15. Got a boyfriend. Bored or realized what we were doing. Anyway, she said that she was going to tell. And I had to explain to her that ex-coppers don't really thrive in the correction system. Nor do pedophiles. So you threatened her? No, no, no. I didn't threaten her. I simply told her that if she did tell anyone, that I would cut her mother's throat in front of her. And then I would cut hers. I think that's why she left home. Always looking after her mum. Such a good kid. You really shouldn't have told me this. Doesn't matter, Dan. Because you're not going to tell anyone. And don't worry about Stephen Fern. I'll keep an eye on him for you. <laughs> You're a slippery bastard now, aren't you? Zero. You could have told them what he did. I know. You could have claimed self-defense. I know. You might not have gone to jail. It, it might not have even gone to trial. I know. But maybe it would have. 
And now I knew Fern's secret. Her hurt. And I wanted to be there for her. I couldn't face the chance of being in jail if she needed me whenever she was... whenever she was ready. I wanted to be there for her. So I got to work. construction site upriver, so I got the cement I needed, and I knew a spot where it was very unlikely that any anchor would snag it. I don't know what made me cut off his wedding ring. I just figured he didn't deserve it. sorry about is lying to Soroya and lying to you. I'm so glad I don't have to anymore. Right. Well, I've just got a few things I need to do. And, uh, you should do what you've got to do. 